Hi, Mark and Carla and Allison and everyone with uh, Mark Cantrell Plumbing. My name is Christian Renna. I'm with RenGen SEO, local digital marketing agency. Just wanted to shoot this quick video for you, give you some free tips and tricks on how you can increase your online presence on your own. Uh, three things we're going to talk about today, content citations and backlinks. Contrary to popular belief, this website can actually bring you leads in and of itself without paying outside services like HomeAdvisor and Angie's List. Uh, and the leads that come to your website are exclusive to you. Uh, so the first thing we're going to talk about is content. Uh, content is not just the words on your website, it's also the pictures and how the pictures are saved, what's behind the pictures, alt tags, meta descriptions, site titles, etc. Um, and so Google loves content. Content is king in the eyes of Google. Uh, the more you have, the better. Uh, there is a magic number. So I'm not sure if you built this website or if somebody built this website for you. Pretty basic. Um, not sure if it's bringing you any leads or not or any money right now. But regardless, um, you're going to want to have 1,500 words minimum on any page you're trying to rank. And so if I, I'm just taking a quick look. I did not put this through Word Counter, but I'm going to say you have less than 250 words on this entire main page, um, which is fine if you had other service pages that had 1,500 words at least. Um, and it looks like you do not. It looks like you just have a home and a gallery page. Um, book now, that's cool. But regardless, you're going to want to have 1,500 words minimum. Also, how these photos are saved matters too. So a lot of times when you upload photos to a website or anywhere, the computer generates an image file on its own. And it'll be like, uh, you know, just some random numbers, random letters, okay? So you're going to want to uh, have uh, all your photos saved as buyer intent keywords because Google's going to pick up that word, those words in the back end. And it's actually going to help you rank um, a photo that nobody sees the written description because it's saved in a file and Google picks that up. Uh, either way, moving forward, 1,500 words, make sure all your photos are saved properly. Um, citations. So what a citation is, is anywhere on the web that your business name, address, and phone number is listed in various directories, uh, like Facebook, Better Business Bureau, Yellow Pages, Yelp, just to name a few. Those are going to give you citations. Um, the citation, the more you have, the higher up you're going to rank in this Google My Business page. I typed in Columbus, Ohio Plumbers. Um, we got Columbus Plumbing Company, we got Drain Master, we got the Eco Plumbers, okay? This is where you want to be. These guys are here for no other reason than their citations and their Google My Business profile. Um, these guys are bringing in the majority of the business for this area. Um, and then if you're not here, at minimum, you want to be down here um, in the organic search. And this is where your website comes into play a lot. So um, any, any fall off volume that the people don't click on this, they're going to come here. Uh, and you want to be on the first page. If you're on the first page, um, you're doing pretty good. So um, moving forward, uh, so I have your Google My Business page pulled up. Um, so you guys actually have 47 reviews. That's good. So uh, so keep up the good work on your reviews. Keep pushing. We recommend 25 minimum. You got 47, so you're doing good there. Um, the only thing I would suggest is putting your website down here in the appointment section. Um, just to help drive more traffic to it. And then also I click, you have about five photos and I think two of those photos are uh, uploaded from uh, like the Google drive by car or whatever. You're going to want to make sure to have 10 photos in here. Um, and then, like I said, you're going to want to make sure to have your photos saved as buyer intent keyword. So this American flag could actually be saved as uh, Dayton, Ohio plumbers or Columbus, Ohio plumbers. Uh, and then Google's going to read that on the back end. So you want all your photos to be saved properly. Um, and then the last thing is backlinks. So what a backlink is, is anywhere that your website is listed on the internet is going to give you a backlink. Um, so you actually have 16 backlinks coming from 10 referring domains, but your domain rating is only a 6. So what that shows me is that of your 16 backlinks, um, they're not coming from where you want them to come from. So the benefit to having only 16 at this point is that you can add more um, and you can easily find the ones that you need to remove. So you want to make sure that your backlinks are coming only from sites that are relevant to the plumbing trade and sites that are not spammy. Um, do some research. This is a tool we use called AREFS, A-H-R-E-F-S. It gives a lot of information on your website. Um, but like I said, uh, do some research. You want your backlinks coming from not spammy sites that are relevant to the trade. Um, add some photos. Save the photos right. Get yourself some more citations and pump in some content to this website. Maybe beef it up a little bit. Help you bring in some more money. Uh, from this website uh, so because a lot right now nobody's finding your website unless they type it in which means that you've already met them and gave them a business card and said hey go to my website you know other than that they're not finding it organically through just searching 
um, and that's what you want. So um, any questions or comments, feel free to get in touch with us. Uh, other than that, I hope your 2021 is prosperous, and thank you very much for watching.